Hey everyone, this is the LEGO Beware the Vulture set. This set has 375 pieces, four minifigures at shown at the bottom right there. Uh, it is for ages 7 to 14, or as LEGO nowadays says 7 plus. Uh, this retailed in the US at 20, in 2017 for about $40. The front box right here looks pretty spectacular. And if you get onto the back box right here, you'll see like a comic book strip, which is uh, the other ATM uh, homecoming set had. And you see some of the play features there. And let's get on to what is inside the box next. Guys, right, so here's the box. All right. You can then stuff it up and I'll organize that for you guys. All right, guys, here it is. I'll organize. You got bag number one, bag number two, bag number three, instruction manual number one, instruction manual number two. You got this little comic booklet, which shows off some Spider-Man Homecoming, like comic book strips. And then if you flip it over, some of the Thor Ragnarok comic book strips, which is actually pretty, pretty awesome. And then you got your sticker sheet and let's get on to the build process. Here is bag number one. Here is bag number two. Here's bag number three. All right guys, here it is all built. It looks really awesome. Uh, here are all your extra pieces with some other like translucent blue things for uh, Iron Man. Some of the translucent uh, purple things for your cannon in here, which we'll get to in a sec. And then that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. And uh, here are the figures, which we'll get to right now. And our first figure up here is Spider-Man. Who better else to start with other than this guy here? Now this one is the same one you see in the ATM Heist Battle and a couple of the Far From Home sets. Uh, I, the only problem I have with this figure mainly is actually the blue. I feel like the blue should be a lot lighter. It is way too dark and navy on him. If you watch the film, it is a lot lighter of a blue, but the detailing on him nonetheless is spectacular. He looks incredible nonetheless. He comes with these little blast pieces. I'm not going to shoot them out because I don't want to lose them. He also comes with this big web here, which I'll show you what you can do with that later. He comes with this big long uh, uh, rope red piece, or uh, web piece rather, that you see in several Spider-Man sets. And he comes with a little phone there. Uh, this is actually a print. I think this is the only detail in the entire set that actually is a print. Everything else is a sticker, and there's a lot of stickers. But again, we'll get to that later. Let's get on to our next figure. Here is our next figure. It is Iron Man. Uh, I actually don't know what suit this is, if it's the Mark 40, like, 7 or something. I don't know for sure. It doesn't say on the box either. But it is a fantastic suit, and it is really, really accurate to the one you see in Homecoming with all that silver, and it looks really cool. It's got that, like, kind of metallic sheen on it. You have to flip his hands upside down in order for him to have his, uh, to have the studs connected to have him flying, but it looks really effective and really cool. You got some back printing there as well, again, with that metallic sheen, which looks fantastic. And they do use the uh, older uh, slash newer style of helmet. I don't like the newer one. Personally, for Iron Man, this older one's a lot better. Uh, but they have a trans uh, blue head under there, which is neat because in the scene, now there's, I'm not, spoiler alert, but it's not really much of a spoiler. Anyways, uh, Tony Stark isn't actually in the suit when uh, Iron Man goes to save Spider-Man from drowning uh, in the, I guess, lake. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a really cool touch. And let's get on to our next figure. Our next figure here is the Vulture, and he looks pretty dang awesome. Uh, I, I, first off, I wanna get off with the uh, light print here. I There's no light print, um, and the legs themselves are green, and I don't know exactly why they're green. I don't think they're green in the movie. I'll have to go back and look, but I do not think they're green. But the torso here is fantastic. It looks magnificent. Uh, no print on the arms, which what do you expect? Uh, he, now this is actually the uh, newer, uh, newer uh, style of Iron Man helmet that, that they have been using recently. I think it actually fits him pretty well, but uh, in 2021 we are getting new uh, No Way Home sets, and there's one based off Homecoming, and we get a new Vulture. I'll do a comparison of that when that is finally out, and I'll show you the differences between that mask and this one, and the wings and all that. And then you got some back print there. I'll take this off so you can see that. There better. it is. It is very awesome. The torso print is fantastic. Again, the legs don't feel quite all that like correct, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe I'm wrong, but he has some actual very subtle uh, back head printing here with like some freckles or some like old detail on them. And then on the front, uh, you got that face. It's the same like vulture face they've been using. I don't know if it quite looks like the old version of Michael Keaton, but it's effective enough and I do like the figure. And our next figure up here is the Shocker. I wanted to mention as well, both him and the vulture are exclusive to the set. So that is actually really cool. But getting on to Shocker, he has gray legs. No printing or anything, but I actually feel like these are accurate to the scene. He comes with two of these gloves. They're quite comically big, but actually, actually, if you watch the movie, he only gets one shocker glove. I want to say it's actually on his left hand. I don't know for sure, but he really only gets one glove, but they gave you two, so that is very nice. 
Uh, his torso print looks extremely good, and the arm print there is fantastic. That looks amazing. I'm so glad they did that. The face is a little bland. I don't think it, you know, it looks terrible. It sort of looks like the actor. And he has some back print there. And yeah, you can maybe argue that he should have had a hood piece rather than just the hood print. But I think that looks all right and an awesome figure to get in the set. And now we're on to the build. And the first one here is Vulture's Wings. They look awesome. What I love about these things is what I was worried about when I, I remember when I first got this is how am I going to like, you know, play with this like when, I, when I'm done playing with it because back it was 2017 and all how am I going to like just display it without it falling flat well actually the uh, fans back here are on a ball joint as you can see and you can actually stand it like it can stand itself up which is really really cool I also want to bring out the vulture himself here he does come with this translucent uh, piece here that you just snap right on there it looks pretty cool and effective and it looks awesome now the wings are symmetrical so uh, what you see on the left is just the same as you see on the right here, just flipped. He has a little uh, thrust engine here at the bottom. You get onto the back, uh, you got two stickers there. I tried to align them the best I could. I think I did a pretty effective job. Every single sticker in this set was clear uh, clear back, so you know they're not the greatest. You'll see some bubbles and some dust through them, which is not the greatest. But the back of the wings here is, are pretty cool as well. And the last thing I wanted to show, or two, I have two things I want to show. First off, stud shooters up here that you can fire off. And then the final thing is the actual, uh, I guess, feathers here. You can move them and have it look like he's flying, sort of like on the box here, how they have him moved up, uh, sort of like that, showing how he's kind of like pausing to a stop there so he can slow down and catch Iron Man or whatever. And I think that is pretty much it for the wings. Let's get on to the, uh, the van. And here is the van. Again, every single uh, detail you see here is a sticker, which sucks because you see a lot of stickers and personally, I'm not a hater of stickers at all. In fact, I really do enjoy stickers because they do add a lot of detail and you see all the detail they add here. However, I found my kryptonite and that is clear coated stickers or clear backed stickers. I mean, they are just not the greatest. I mean, you'll see bubbles everywhere uh, when you place these down and they're just not the cleanest look to them. And every single one of these, I think besides maybe this one, and I think there's another one from, I can't remember exactly where, uh, oh, uh, that's right. Uh, in here on the, no, see that's clear back too. So like every single one uh, is clear backed, which is very, very frustrating to me. Um, but it does add a lot of detail if you can kind of ignore that. But the van overall looks incredible. Uh, the front detailing here is spectacular. I don't know what this is. Uh, uh, this license plate is uh, supposed to represent. I don't know if that's like a specific comic book or something. They do that in the Marvel Cinematic Universe a lot. So I don't know exactly, but you can peel this top piece off. It's just one piece. And you can throw a figure in there, like so. There he is, Shocker there driving the vehicle. And you can just pop that right back on. Very, very simple. Uh, the wheels are all the same. They roll extremely well. Uh, now maybe they got a lot of like uh, friction in them, so you see it's stopping pretty instantly, but they're really, really smooth. The under detailing here, you don't see a lot of it. It's not the prettiest. You won't be seeing it from there very much. Now you, uh, what you can do is you can flip this back here again with another sticker, but this one is actually really, really cool. Uh, you go, you got, how's my driving? It says, and then it says call uh, that number, whatever, and then it says shocking on there, which is pretty cool. It's a reference to shocker. You can pull this down and you got this cannon that can actually come up to the top. And you can spin this back thing here and shoot off the studs. Not doing that, not losing them. Uh, but also coming back to the back, you got these two crates. Uh, this one is empty. Uh, and then this one here has that little cube that you see Spider-Man and Ned hold that uh, blows up Washington DC, which is a pretty cool touch. And both of these crates are the exact same with a uh, clear sticker on top. Again, you see like fingerprints and stuff under there, which is not the prettiest, but Oh well, now uh, uh, in the back you can actually see Shocker through there, which is okay, I suppose, but there's not a lot of room for figures, uh, which is a little disappointing. But you see these two things here, you can take these apart. Uh, I gotta get this one off here. I'm struggling a little bit, there we go. Okay, and then you just slide it on like that, and you got a little rifle blaster here for Shocker, and that is pretty cool. And then, as I said earlier, what I uh, was gonna show you how you could use this piece later on in the set, you can actually uh, with this thing, pull it off, uh, not with these clips here. Clips are supposed to stay like that, and then you get this piece off like this, and then you get that web, and you just attach it onto the back there, and have it like that, have it drag Spider-Man, maybe he has his, his web here or something, and then you put Spider-Man on the other end, and it's just, the van's just dragging him across, or something like that, or it's a way to like 
maybe stick his phone or something on there. There's a lots of playability that you can have with this set, and that is pretty awesome. And you can flip it up too if you really care to. I don't know, just to maybe close the back so the crates don't fall out and explode, or you know, just something. And you just come up with playability like that, and that is a really awesome feature they added to the set. I will give Lego that. That is pretty awesome. So overall, guys, I think this is a pretty fantastic set. Uh, I really went out of my way with this. I already had the set. I sold it and I rebought it, sealed in box so I can get newer parts, newer pieces, newer stickers, and the box itself because I had thrown it away back in 2017 when they just did not matter to me. So I went out of my way to do that. So make sure you guys leave a like uh, down below. But overall, I got to give this set a 9.5 out of 10. There's almost nothing wrong besides maybe some outdated figures, Spider-Man not being all that blue, no light printing on either of these figures, very little things like that. But besides that, a fantastic set, a fantastic play set and an awesome uh, gift for a kid back in 2017 when it was, you know, reasonably priced. Nowadays, it's like 75 on the aftermarket. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in more Spider-Man uh, Far From Home sets down the road later for reviews, and I'll see you guys then. Peace out.